steamed rice is on the menu. So, with the food ready, it was time to start that party. There's nothing I like more than good food and good company. Do you eat a lot of Filipino food? Filipino food um, is so much part of my life. It, it's, it, I can't explain it. It's, I can't even say Filipino food. It's just food. Do you know what? You're rocking my world, girlfriend. <laughs> my favourite Filipino dish, I would say, is adobo. It's got, like, pork inside, or you can do beef as well. You can make it sweet, you can make it with ginger, you can make it with garlic. It varies across the regions. We feel like the identity is starting to fade with the youngsters, and we need but to bring Don't you think up. that's inevitable in a way, in that it's such a mixed culture? Yes, Any is. culture that comes to Britain is going to get diluted. I mean, look at me. You would never guess that I was originally from Russia. <laughs> Eating Filipino food means you don't have frozen stuff. You don't have um, things pre-packed. You prepare and cut the vegetables yourself. You cook it uh, as a family. I mean, um, Filipinos learn how to cook through their parents. When I was seven, when I moved into England, um, I actually just remember mum always cooking Filipino food. I, I haven't even tasted, um, you know, actual chicken in London or anything. It was just weird. It was just like, I just thought, OK, Filipino food every day, rice especially. It's really interesting though, isn't it? Of all the things, I know it may sound really obvious now we're talking about it, but of all the things I think that link you to your culture, I wouldn't have thought food was one of them, but increasingly I'm realising it's really important to people. Cooking is, is a massive part of Filipino life. Everywhere you go, if you go to someone's house, they'll give you food. If you say no, you're rude, so you have to eat. The, the thing is, if, if you keep eating, they'll keep offering. So unless you know that there's nothing left, you have to um, you know, hold your hands up. That's what they say, hold my hands up, I surrender, I give up, that kind of thing. That is rocking. I can't believe you've waited till the evening to introduce me to that. <laughs> When I started this journey, I knew very little about Filipino food. And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised. Mmm, that's really okay. nice. There's no denying that dishes have an Asian influence, but they also have a style and flavour unique to the Philippines. It's a black pudding food with meat. At the moment, their cuisine takes a back seat to say Chinese or Thai. But with people like May championing their cause, it's only a matter of time before things catch up. What have you got for us, young lady? We've got sinigang or tamarind soup. Tamarind soup. What's in it? We've got onions. Lovely. Tomatoes, salt and tamarind paste, eggplant, some okra, daikon, long beans or snake beans, and some pork ribs and pak choy. If there was ever a dish that epitomised the melting pot of Filipino cooking, this might well be it. What should we do first? Because um, until we cook it, I can't eat it. We add the onions, tomatoes, salt, and the tamarind paste. I please. love tamarind, that kind of tangy, mm. mouth puckering flavour. Well, it's a souring agent in a lot of Asian food, isn't it? Tamarind, rather than and because it, unlike lime, tamarind doesn't change with heat. So it keeps it souring. Mm. While there was lime, if you cook lime juice, of course, the sourness goes and it becomes sweet. That's why he's here. He knows stuff like that. Yeah, I yes. just know how to eat. Um, we also make a chutney from tamarind to have with samosas and pakoras. Anyway, what else? Next, we'll um, cut the um, okra. Um, wow. So we chop these up. Yeah. We've got some eggplant, aubergine. Yes, eggplant or aubergine, yes. Um, and oh, I love these snake, snake snake beans. Snake beans or long beans. Do you know why they're called snake beans? Because they look like snake. Yeah. I just thought. <laughs> <laughs> so in here now we've got we've got our um, um, pork ribs and our tomatoes and our onions yes. and the tamarind and that's been cooking for about how long? About four five an hour. Right. So, so until the um, pork ribs nice and soft. Could you use pork belly for this? Yeah, we could use pork belly to this. You could also use even seafood, shrimps, or uh, even chicken. Because somebody I work with is a Filipino and she said to me, I, I said we're going to cook Senegal. She said, which one? What's it got in it? What's it yeah, got in it? Yeah, yeah. You can really use your own thing to this. I mean, um, it's very open to what interpretation, we, yeah, interpretation, yeah. yeah. And oh, what's this now? This is that is a pak choy. Now, um, when we put all of this inside right. here. So it really is layering cookery, isn't it? Because you've yeah. got uh, 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 things which are more dense and take longer than each other. Yeah. And you just keep on adding to the pot all the time. So yeah. now we've got the aubergine, the um, okra, and the snake beans and the yes. daikon radish. Yeah. How long does that cook for? That cook for about 15 minutes, because you don't want the um, vegetable to cook too much. Right. Yeah. And then in the last, last minute... Yes. 
we've got one here ready. Well, funny enough, aren't we lucky? Let me just move this one out of the way for you. Sure. That'll be easier. Ooh, look at we've this one, Mr. Tarot. Pak Choi. Ready? Pak Choi. Steady. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. So we'll just add a couple there. So we'll just push them in. Push them in. Well, if you've got a big um, Pak Choi, you can just half them or... So that's to just going to wilt in the hot yeah. liquid. Well, you can oh. even turn off, by this time you can turn off the heat and, you know, close the lid and um, wait for about 10 minutes and should be ready to serve. Do we have 10 minutes, Hardy, before your belly starts to grumble? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think no. Um, I think I'm willing to have a go with a partially cooked pak choy. All um, right. What about what we serve this with then, mate? Um, oh, Filipino love their rice. So we'll have rice. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Get the food out. So, in many cultures, you put the rice underneath and then put everything else on top. Would you yeah. do that here? Yes. OK, so I'll do that. I'll get the rice in. Hardy. Oh, your rice is lovely and sticky as well. Look at that shiny, lovely, sticky rice. Look at that. See, I love the colour. You know when you just... The pak choy's just wilted rather than cooked? It's still got that vibrant green. A green of nature, John. I love that smell. I love the smell of the tamarind because you can smell the sourness mm. and the sweetness of all the vegetables and that very, very rich broth. But also, I've never seen um, muli daikon cooked like this before. I've, I've never seen it boil. It's always raw. But it's so lovely, though, as well. Well, it's going to be a first for me. Yeah. This smells very, very good indeed. It's good, isn't it? I love this one pot wonder stuff. I love the idea of putting stuff into a pot and away we go. Young sir, I have fork, you have spoon. What do we do? Very excited about the pork and the ribs. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm. Isn't that good? Very good indeed. May, you're a wonder. Thank you. Rock on, that's all I can say. If this dish were a rock group, it would be like Led Zeppelin or Bon Jovi. It's that good. Um, join us next time when I find other rock groups to use to describe various foods around the British Isles. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Next time, we're talking and eating Italian. On the menu, it's a traditional dip of anchovies and garlic. Get that served up, sweet cheese. Things start to sizzle in the kitchen when we make pork salt and bocca. And I'll be perfecting my pizza skills. I'm making a naan bread. <laughs> and trying out an authentic Italian recipe. <laughs> Whilst we were busy chatting there, Maze managed to burn the bottom of the rice in there. Can you smell it? Can you I can smell, smell it? it. You can't. But I reckon we can put that in to make this even more authentic. <laughs>